Hey! Wagwan, Mandem, and Mandemets. Uh, what are we all saying today? Everybody's good? Everybody says, my day's been splendid, God is good, God is great, everything's blessed, everything's, uh, you know, cool over here. Everything's nice, everything's breezy, man, we're coming up with more skits, we're doing some more tattooing, everything's been good. Everything's been good. You know, I, I do need to get on the, on the hustle, just a little bit more. But, you know, we're doing our podcast now, man, we're, we're, we're getting this started up. You know, um, and it, it's, it's, um, it's sure to be a swell time, um, in my opinion, yon. But, um, I mean, yeah, man, I mean... I've just been chilling recently, man. I've been enjoying life. Life's been good, bro. It's been a nice breezy summer. You know, we got a lot, a lot of work to do this summer, a lot of catching up. So, you know, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to get on, uh, on that grind, bro. I've been watching a lot of, a lot of Rick Ross, uh, motivational videos. And, uh, you know, it's been working. You know, Rick Ross. Some people used to say I look like Rick Ross. Um, like an albino Rick Ross. But, you know, we slimmed up. God is good. Um, but I mean, yeah, man. I love Rick Ross. Hoo! 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 See that? You, you probably thought I was Rick Ross. I'm not. Uh, but no, he's a beauty. He's a beautician. Love the guy to death. Uh, you know, Rick Ross, if you ever want to hop on the podcast, hit a play up. <laughs> if you're catching my drift. Catch it. Right. Um, but, you know, just a couple things I wanted to come on here and talk about. You know, a couple of uh, a couple of interesting topics we can talk about. Like, I was I was on the interweb the other day. Um, and I did some more research about what my friend had told me at work. Uh, she was just like, uh, hey, Felix. Felix. And I was like, yeah, what's, what's going on? I was with my boy Caleb. We were all working. Trying to get some work done, you know? Uh, but it was pretty dead, so she just comes up and says, Oh, Felix, Caleb, uh, did you guys know that you can actually fit two, um, raccoons in your anus? Ooh. Right, um, so, when she originally said that, I'm like, no, you can't, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And then I did some research, and it appears that a human can fit two raccoons up the boot shoe. I'm gonna let you sit with that information for just two seconds. Bumba clot. Um... Yeah, because I guess um, a human anus can stretch up to eight, eight, kilom- uh, eight, eight centimeters or something like that. Probably wrong. Um, and a raccoon can bury itself in holes tighter than four. So I guess technically, yeah, a, a two raccoons. You know, you never know. They could be in there now. You know, I could be, I could be harvesting some raccoons. Bring them into the airport with me, you know? I mean, you could do that. If you wanted to bring a raccoon with you to the airport, but they don't allow raccoons because of rabies and such... Pop them up the butt. Sneak them in. And that also begs the question, how many chipmunks could you fit in there? You know? But, you know, I don't even want to know sometimes. I mean, yeah, man, two raccoons is kind of insane. And that makes, it's like, how did she figure that out, though? Like, we asked her, like, how did you know that? She's like, don't worry about it. Right. Um, so now I'm worried. I'm pondering. I'm doing some profound pondering on whether or not I should be trusting my coworkers. You know, I trusted these people in my life. I still do. I still do. I trust them with my life. But after finding out that some of them know about raccoons and anuses, I'm going to steer, I'm a, I'm a steer clear. I'm going to steer clear, yes, sir. Um, but, I mean, yeah, man, life's been good, bro. Life's been, life's been chilling. Um, you know, and then that, that brings me to another story. My friend, uh, my friend Raquel, she was telling me about, um, what are those things? Those things on the side of you. Um, the friggin', um, stomas. <laughs> Como mi stoma. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, there was, uh, her brother's, like, a doctor or something, or, like, a... I don't know, he, I think he, he might be like, I don't know, he's either a doctor or he puts diapers on old people, you know? I mean, who, either way, respectable job, you know? Uh, either way. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that, that boy, um, he was just telling her a story, which she then told me, about how, um, I guess when he was working there, this girl had a stoma, and she had, um, an S, uh, sexual transmitted disease, um, due to the fact that somebody had relations with her through the stoma. Uh, once again, sorry if I kind of grossing y'all out with this, but, um, I just feel like it needs to be said, you know? But, um, I just don't know where, where people get the idea. You know, I mean, you got, what, 50 other holes and you're using that one? Let's just steer clear, please. Matter of fact, let's steer clear from this topic in general. My apologies, y'all. My apologies, man. Let's get to something more positive, man. I mean, life's been good, man. Oh, y'all hear about Trump. That's gang, gang, baby. That's gang. Um, yeah, bro, I feel like bro wants to be 50 Cent, you know? He either wants to be 50 Cent or JFK, you know? And I feel like Trump is kind of a, like, like if JFK and 50 Cent had a love child, Trump would be that. That's what I'm saying. Um, but I mean, yeah, bro, I mean, that's, like, I'm not about to give any personal opinions. I really don't care. Trump is pretty funny. But, um, you know, like I said, not about to give no personal opinions. But I mean, yeah, bro, I mean, wasn't he golfing a day after? Put some respect. <laughs> Saw some respect. Slide some respect on his skin. Because um, if you can be golfing after getting shot... Play is a player, man. Game is game. Um, but I mean, yeah, bro, life's been good. 
Life's been good. I just graduated high school. Hold your applause, please, y'all, please. But I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, high school, high school was fun, bro. I mean, a lot of. I'm I'm glad I wasn't in my prime, in high school. You know, I'm glad I'm glad that wasn't my prime. I hope that wasn't my prime, cause <laughs> that's gonna be bad if it was. But um, you know, a lot to come in the future. High school was pretty fun, man. I remember when I accidentally got high off a weed brownie, cause I didn't know it was a weed brownie. And this is when I, oh boys, this is when I was like obese, you know? This is when I was a fat Felix, you know, a junkie monkey. You know, I could, I could sell shade if I wanted to. Shout out to Queso. Um, but, um, but I mean, yeah, bro, I mean, like, high school was fun. Uh, when I accidentally took that weed brownie, I was just walking down the halls. And then, um, like some seven foot guy, not gonna say color. Um, he just, he just like patted a baggie on my chest and then walked away. And me being the obese little boy that I was, opened the bag. Take out the brownie. Ooh, the brownie. Ooh, ooh, how delightful. How delightful. Oh, God, for a week, right? Scarf that down in 0 0.2 seconds. And that's what I used to be able to do. You can ask my friend Caleb. When he was at work, he, he bought me a Boston cream once. And you're not allowed to eat at work. So I went in the closet. I was out of there within four seconds. Brutal, I know. Uh, Wide-backed activities, as you would call them. But God is good. We tend to... Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the story. After that, I was just tripping. Bro, I was tripping balls, bro. I was tripping everything, bro. I was I was tripping straight armadillo coochie. That's what I was tripping off of. And it was not fun. Um, but I mean, you know, we, 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 we live and survive. Got me sounding like a Frenchman. We live and survive. Um, uh, we, we get past these situations. You know, I, I just remember kind of sitting down in the calf and just being scanning, you know, for potential obstacles that I would have to overcome. Um, but I mean, yeah, bro, I was cooked. Like I, there was definitely more than weed in that brownie. Uh, lockers were talking to me and I was having a conversation with the locker about like, my investments in the future about nfts and i was like play i'm not investing in no nfts bro no i'm 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 uh i'm straight on that you know but the locker was trying to convince me bro i mean he just kept yapping on about it yapping on about nfts and alcohol and how i should stay away from alcohol and get on some nfts because it's like a different kind of high and um you know i just wasn't having any of it you know i appreciate the advice with the alcohol but um you play too much and i'm not listening to a locker I'm, I'm, I'm scraped on that. I'm scraped. But, um, but I mean, yeah, man, even, even in high school, bro, a brother was getting sneezed on. You know, I remember there was this one time in math class when all I, you know, you know those sneeze where they had to, like, lean back. Like, so you, lean back and rip a snarf. This wasn't a sneeze, it was a snarf, bro. It was disgusting. So some gal is sitting, like, behind me. I'm ripping it up. You know, I'm nice with the quadratics. I'm ripping it up. Uh, and then all I, all I hear behind me is a... <laughs> she was about to rip a bomb. And then all I hear is a Hashim! Like she was summoning the great Alagabahid. And then I feel it on the back of my neck. Mm, no! Why oh is that so moist? Yeah, I better catch 10 warts after that. Thanks. So, you know, I had to, I had to hit my little. stare down like a boss player would but um it was just a traumatic experience you know I, like I, i'm glad that i can open up and talk about it but um but i mean yeah man high school is good times man and speaking of sneezes i mean allergies bro i just found out allergies aren't just like a white people thing i swear to my life i thought they were i swear because my friend caleb who is not a white person had allergies i called him i was like can you take my can you take my work shift today he was like nah i got my allergies are acting up i was like boy stop lying you don't get allergies stop lying Cause I thought it was like a, a lack of uh, what's it, what's it called when um like melatonin like when you don't when you can't like your skin color, but I I have no melatonin in me, um so I just thought it was cause like a lack of that people got allergies and that was like cause I've never seen like like a colored person with a peanut allergy, I've only seen white people do that like it's only been white people stopping me from entering Five Guys stopping me from having a W Five Guys experience you know, you know but I I I guess I don't know but I guess anybody can be anything nowadays you know, that's good, so I mean yeah my allergies are pretty cool I got I got them myself. But, like, just, like, just, like, grass and pollen and that, you know, they, they be top ops. But they be acting up in winter, though, which I find, um, quite odd, indubitably. Um, you know, it's not very gravy, not swaggy like gravy. But, um, but, I mean, yeah, my life's been good. Everything's been swell, bro. You know, sun is shining. Uh, I'm keeping up with my steps. I'm doing my push-ups. And I, I stay with my seatbelt on, man. I mean, and that just proves that, like, God is really good, you know? You know, and, um, I mean, yeah, but we can talk about God for a little bit. God is good. Um, I've been trying my best to kind of, like, stay on on par with him and try to like do my best but um you know it gets rocky gets hard um especially when like you're always trying to be funny you know um i guess it's just because like when i'm trying to be funny 
it sometimes overlaps my love for God, and sometimes I'll tell a joke that the man above doesn't like, and I, I always gotta learn from that, and I'm always trying to learn from that, and even on this, I probably made a joke or two that just isn't, you know, in the way of God, but, you know, uh, shit, we gotta repent, we can restart, and we can, we can build, we can build from that, but, um, but I mean, yeah, man, I'm just trying to have more energe energy, you know, I feel like my energy was a bit low recently, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get a little bit of that guanin, but I mean, yeah, bro, just remember you're loved, you're always loved, you know, I love you, if nobody else does, um, but, you know, people do, bro, people do, so just remember that you are loved, you are alive, breathe the air, go touch some grass, walk your, your freaking ferret, if you got one, walk it, take it for a stroll, um, you know, uh, breastfeed your baby, if you got nothing else to do, and, uh, steer clear of raccoons, because they be crawling in places you don't, you don't even know, bro, but I mean, yeah, everybody have a blessed day, man, I, I hope y'all's day's been blessed, and I hope it continues to be blessed, you know, I'm praying for everybody, and, um, yeah, bro, gang, gang, love y'all.